30 superstars enter, but only one remains in the ring at the end. The first WWE Royal Rumble took place in 1988 and was won by Hexall Jim Duggan. And since then, it has been one of the promotion's marquee events, with many believing nothing tops the over-the-top contest. Not even WrestleMania, which the winner of the Rumble gets the opportunity to main event. So with over 30 years of history, we now present the top 10 Royal Rumble winners of all time. At number 10, Batista. Before he was Drax, Batista destroyed his fellow wrestlers in the ring, en route to winning two Royal Rumble matches nearly 10 years apart. However, one of those wins did not come without controversy, as the 2005 finish did not go so smoothly, with both Batista and John Cena hitting the floor nearly simultaneously, leading to Vince McMahon charging to the ring to clean up the botch, carrying both quads in the process, before restarting the contest, with Batista clearly emerging triumphant on the duo. Number 619 is Rey Mysterio. Generally, the Rumble is a showcase for dominant forces, Kane and Brock Lesnar being the best examples, which is why Rey's win stands out, given the legendary little man entered at two and lasted all the way to the end, eventually winning the event after paying tribute to the late Eddie Guerrero and facing off with fellow legends Triple H and Randy Orton, before bucking the trend of the business, being headlined by big men. Number eight is Becky Lynch. Once reserved for the men, the women in WWE began to partake in the annual tradition in 2018. But perhaps no win since was more significant than the one by the man. Becky faced off with Charlotte Flair at the end, coming out victorious in what turned out to be a historic moment, as those two and Ronda Rousey then went on to become the first women ever to main event at WrestleMania, with Lynch winning yet again. At number seven, The Undertaker. The dead man notably won a lot at WrestleMania, but actually only won the Rumble once. However, it was a very memorable victory, given how the match ended. The final four featured Randy Orton, Edge, Shawn Michaels, and the 30th entrant, Taker, who stood across the ring from HBK as the last two standing, a sight that happened to produce some of the most classic contests in history. Michaels would have tied the record for most Rumble wins and was able to hit Sweet Chin Music, but he hit the floor first after being thrown over the top as The Undertaker became the first to win from the last spot. Hulk Hogan comes in at number six. Given when the event started, it is only right that Hulkamania would run wild on the Rumble, which happened in back-to-back -back years, to give a big boot to kick off the 90s. The Hulkster was the first to win twice, one of which featured an epic showdown with the Ultimate Warrior, the two biggest stars of that era. At number five, Randy Orton. The Viper is another two-time Rumble winner, with the legend killer ousting the legendary Triple H and Roman Reigns for his respective victories nearly a decade apart going on to defeat the late Bray Wyatt to win the WWE title following the latter win. Orton is a veteran of the match, having appeared in over a dozen, so there's really no such thing as an RKO out of nowhere when it comes to the Royal Rumble. Ric Flair comes in at number four. Winning the Royal Rumble was perhaps the most memorable moment of Flair's WWE run, as the event in 1992 was a star-studded affair, with Flair starting at number three and outlasting all 29 other superstars and what was the first time the winner was guaranteed a main event slot at WrestleMania, making this win for the Nature Boy certainly worth a woo! John Cena's at number three. We've all seen Cena win the Royal Rumble, twice in fact. Once in a return that blew the roof off Madison Square Garden, and another that would set up an epic showdown with The Rock. Cena's surprise entry is still regarded as one of the greatest moments in WWE history, with his hustle and loyalty earning the ultimate respect from wrestling fans. Coming in at number two is Shawn Michaels. The showstopper lived up to his moniker in the Royal Rumble, first by entering to start with the British Bulldog and with both being the final two in arguably the most iconic ending ever, given how Shawn held onto the ropes to avoid elimination. Then by eliminating his former bodyguard Big Daddy Cool Diesel the next year, as his second consecutive lasting impression would go on to set up the Iron Man match with noted rival Bret the Hitman Hart in one of his many Mr. WrestleMania moments. And at number one, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Several superstars have won the Rumble twice, but only one has emerged victorious three times, the Texas Rattlesnake. Austin's first two wins came as he burst into superstardom and launched the Attitude Era. All three of Austin's victories set up memorable showdowns with the likes of Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, and The Rock. As the bottom line is, the 30-man event belonged to Austin 316.